Good morning everybody and um, I'm chatting to you all this morning and doing this somewhat virtual assembly, that's a first, to raise awareness around Down Syndrome and tell you all about the fundraiser that we are going to host in Skill next week. So let's start with the basics. What is Down Syndrome? Well, it's not a disease. You definitely can't catch it. You're either born with it or you're not. And someone who is born with Down Syndrome um, has an extra chromosome. They have three copies of chromosome 21 instead of two, which is the more typical chromosome makeup. This happens totally by chance, and it's actually pretty common. It happens in one in 700 pregnancies, so it would be the most common birth diagnosis. Let's have a chat about some facts about Down syndrome then. So it is named after the man who first described it, John Langdon Downing, and how it impacts a person very significantly. They will have some disability, but they will also have a massive range of abilities, just like everybody else. The vast majority of children with Down syndrome will go to mainstream primary school with their peers, so with kids their age, and some of them will then go on to mainstream secondary school, and some of them might go to a more special secondary school to cater for their needs. Some people will be more independent and do things like go to higher education, get a job, live alone, or live with a partner or friends and awareness and early interventions make a big difference in the lives of children and adults with Down syndrome. So by early intervention, I mean things like physiotherapy and speech and language therapy. These can really help babies with Down syndrome because they tend to have a condition as well called hypotonia, which means that their muscles are a little floppier than they would be typically. So this can make things a bit more difficult to do, things just like walk and talk as they require muscle movement. And a recent study actually found that people that have Down syndrome need twice as much electrical energy to move their muscles compared to a typical person. But by doing early, really simple therapies like physio, children with Down syndrome can completely overcome this and meet milestones just like their peers. Pretty impressive. So people that have Down syndrome, they're just like everybody else. They have their own personalities, their own likes and dislikes. They have dreams and aspirations and things that make them who they are. So here is a great little clip I'm going to show you made by a bunch of young adults and one baby that have Down syndrome and they talk about something they're really sick of you. Did you know no one might come out of the house? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what is Down syndrome Bella saying? What makes you angry? Smoking. Nigel Farage. You don't like him? Not in the slightest. People with Down syndrome can't have relationships. Well, obviously they can have relationships. Kissing is my favourite pastime. Yeah? I reckon. So you're really romantic. Oh, yeah. so romantic. Yeah. I like William Hague and the US Oh, and just did be blah. Not David Cameron, though. And blah. People with Down syndrome can't learn. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they can. Maybe sometimes they might need a little bit of a push. Um, yep. Yeah. I've got um, quite a few things that's my favourite. I passed all 10 of my GCSEs. If it doesn't do it, I just normal people. You know, will she be able to do this? Will she be able to do that? And I say, yeah, she'll be able to do everything. It's just we'll take the scenic route. This is our pet hate. Adults with Down syndrome are like children. Oh. Do you ever have people like come up to you and talk to you like you're a child? Yes, it's oh. patronising. Yeah. <laughs> but some people do the head tilt as well. <laughs> oh, bless her. Isn't she lovely? How old is she? Infantilisation, do one. Yeah, please. Some people say it's a disease, it's not. No. That's the dirt is a condition which is caused by an extra chromosome. Doesn't stop you from doing anything, does it? Well, exactly. We bring okay. something different to the world that other people can't. People sometimes do come up with words like Down syndrome sufferer. The only thing that I suffer from is bad attitudes. 
Those with Down syndrome can't live independently. I hope not. Of course they can, because I'll live independently. Um, hopefully wanting to live with my boyfriend. I wouldn't mind living somewhere with um, my um, 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 uh, girlfriend as well. And have a life and go out with friends and having a night life as well. I get my own sweet back if you move out. So you want me to move out today? No. Those with Down syndrome can't have jobs. Well, that's wrong. Of course they can. Yeah, of course they can. Yeah. I've had so many different jobs. I work in a hair salon and I love it. Yeah. Went through retail, um, office work, went back to retail and then went back to office work and then media. I'm also an, an, an actor as well. I got a job as an actor and a dancer. You're famous, Wednesday, Tommy. Yeah, well, even more. One day I might be put in his You never know. <laughs> but she can be anything she wants to be. Unless she wants to play for Liverpool, in which case. Everton. <laughs> 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 Do you wish you could have Down syndrome? No. <laughs> Why? It's just me, it's part of me. I may have Down syndrome, but without it, I don't think I'd really be me. I don't wish that. I wish that people will see Down syndrome in a positive light. My motto in life is Down syndrome, so what? So it's time for change. For too long, society has viewed people with Down syndrome as not being capable of living a successful life. Now, thankfully, this outdated and discriminatory viewpoint is beginning to change. And I'm just going to show you some really remarkably talented individuals who clearly show that we all our differences are something we should celebrate and, and champion. So this is Sarah Gordy, MBE. She is a professional actor and a dancer, well known for acting her roles in Upstairs Downstairs and Call the Midwife. She is a Men Cat ambassador. She travels the world every year and does motivational speeches um, on championing your ability. She recently said that if I believed all the things people said I couldn't do, I would not have amounted to anything. Don't listen to doubt, believe in yourself. She just happens to have Down syndrome. Karen Gaffney is a public speaker. She has a doctorate and her own foundation. She has spent her life advocating that every single life matters and that she has swam the English Channel quite recently, so clearly proven that she can do whatever she wants to do. Pablo Panino was the first person with Down syndrome to obtain a degree and a master's. He did that in 1998, and he's worked as a full-time teacher and an author since 2004. Madeleine Sturt is an Australian supermodel. She's been on fashion shows, and she recently released her own line of uh, fashion. Angela Bashir is a counsellor for Spain and she's busy advocating and ensuring that people with disabilities, their rights are protected there. Kate Grant is a little bit of a local hero. She is 21 years old and she is from Belfast. She was crowned champion of the Team Beauty of the World pageant and she's walked the catwalk on London Fashion Week. She appeared with Phil and Holly on this morning talking all about Down syndrome and how she hasn't let it hold her back. And she's also a brand ambassador for Benefit. So she's doing lots of commercials and Instagram work with them and their different makeup. So why am I standing here today talking to you about Down syndrome? Well, I want you to meet Jacob. He is my beautiful little boy. He was born in May last year and he's just about to turn one and a half. I cannot believe it. <laughs> and some of you might already know that he has Down syndrome. He is just Jacob. He is amazing. He has the best personality. He is just like any other little boy. And that extra chromosome is only such a small, small part of him and definitely will not define him. Most people say that the day their baby's born is the best day of their lives. But sadly for my husband and I, it was the scariest. 
it was the scariest day of our lives because we were completely overwhelmed with facts of health complications that he could have, which he hasn't, statistics and future limitations. And all we should have heard that day was congratulations. So because of our experience in Jacob and all the joy he brings to our life, we have founded a charity called Joy 21. And our mission is to share the message of joy and positivity to all new and expectant parents here in Northern Ireland that just happen to have a baby with Down syndrome. We have partnered with a really big American charity called PALS and um, we are working to bring their amazing Congratulations Projects books here to Northern Ireland. And um, all of our proceeds go towards Portion and Books and making our packs of Congratulations which we donate. Each book is beautiful. It contains handwritten letters written by young people that have Down syndrome in which they encourage and congratulate new parents and, and tell them how wonderful their lives are. So here's a couple of examples. Um, this is Maggie's letter. So Maggie has Down syndrome and see she said, congratulations on your new baby. My name is Maggie and I am proud of having a job, graduating a two year college program at ESU and being on the swim team and doing gymnastics. I love my life because I have the best friends and family. I met Morgan in kindergarten and she didn't know that I had Down syndrome until fifth grade. We are the best of friends. I know that your baby will have good friends like Morgan. I want your baby to know that they are intelligent, nice, outgoing and will be supported. Be happy, be excited. Sincerely, Maggie. This is Taylor. And Taylor said, congratulations on your new baby. My name's Taylor. I am proud of my good grades in school, of being a good aunt. I like to hang out with my boyfriend and friends. I'm good at dancing and singing. In the future, I would like to get married and have one child. I'd also like to become a teacher. Good luck with your baby. Don't be scared, be happy, because they are going to be great and successful. I love you, Taylor. Just so lovely. So along with the books and the packs that we, um, in the packs, sorry, we donate, we have included two parents bracelets and a little t-shirt for the new arrival. And then we have a little letter from my husband and I and Jacob, and that letter details all the local support groups for that area. And um, we just want to share the reality of bringing up a child with Down syndrome because it's pretty awesome. So far we've donated congratulations packs to the Ulster Hospital, the Royal Hospital, Antrim Hospital and every week we are posting packs directly to parents who have reached out to us um, and asked for one, maybe they've emailed or they've messaged our social medias and we're just getting such lovely feedback which means the world from new mums and dads and from their lives. So on World Down Syndrome Day, which is normally in March, um, people around the world wear odd socks and use the hashtag lots of socks to um, raise awareness around Down syndrome. Socks have been used as the symbol because they kind of look a bit like chromosomes and if you're doing GCSE biology you'll, you'll know what I mean by that. Um, so they help represent the fact that people that have Down syndrome have that extra chromosome. So we were actually meant to do this and um, wear odd socks in school in March but that was cancelled due to COVID. So we're going to do it now. Let's raise awareness together and kind of lift school spirits, which I think is nice to do, especially at the minute when everything is a wee bit unknown. So on Friday, the 27th of November, that's next Friday, we are going to have an odd socks day here at BCB. We want you all to come into school in your odd socks, teachers included. They can be long, short, brightly coloured, stripy, polka dot, it doesn't matter. You can wear them instead of your school socks or over the top of your tights. Um, and to say a little thank you for raising awareness for such a good cause, we are going to have a little treat for you here in school that Friday at lunchtime. Okay, and you'll have an opportunity to donate to our charity, Joy21, uh, during the day. Just even a pound would be so greatly appreciated and all the proceeds are going to go towards um, helping us put together more packs so that we can continue to donate 
to the rest of the maternity hospitals here in Northern Ireland to make sure that all new and expectant parents of any baby diagnosed with Down syndrome gets one and that they see the reality is just truly awesome and you know they're going to have a wonderful wonderful life so let's celebrate it let's celebrate the fact that we're all different that we're all equal and that inclusion matters so thanks very much for listening to me this morning i'm really looking forward to next week you'll see some posters all around the school to remind you and make sure you've got your own socks thanks